Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna go through the different sizes of glitter to help you decide which one you might need for your project. <laughs> there are so many of them, so let's get into it. If you're anything like me and you're looking at glitter, once you figure out what kind you need and what color you want, then you have to figure out what size do you need. And that's very hard to do when you're looking at it online. I had this crazy idea that I would just compare them for you guys and myself. And I'm gonna go from smallest to largest. And they're all silver, so that way it just makes it easier. It's called Centauri Silver, actually. And if you love this color, which I do, I will link it down below for you. I wrote out this little piece of paper. These are the 10 different kinds of glitter, and I'm going to lay them out one at a time so that you can see them right next to each other. And I'll come in really, really close at the end, okay? It is 0 0.008, otherwise known as ultra fine glitter. Ugh. It looks like liquid diamonds. I mean, powdered diamonds. Oh, it's so pretty. And then next up is fine glitter. And this is, kind of, well, no, this is still really small. It's really tiny, but not, this is almost like a powder. So this is 0 0.015 fine glitter. And then this one is chunky. Good Lord, this stuff is so pretty. I mean, this is what unicorn dreams are made of for sure. Look at this stuff. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Um, anyway, sorry, got distracted. Okay, this is 0 0.040. This is referred to as chunky glitter. And this is probably the size that you're used to seeing at like Walmart and Joann's or Hobby Lobby or whatever you have where you are. This one is 0 0.062 and it is referred to as a fat sized glitter. It's so funny how like it throws so much more light I'll, I'll come back to that. But the bigger that the glitter is, obviously the more light it's gonna throw because it has more surface area to throw light back from. Okay, so this is the same size, but it's cut into a different shape. So this is this would be considered fat, but it's confetti. So it's obviously really, really thin little shards of, not shards, but little slivers. Um, so this one is gonna be an eighth of an inch diamonds. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. All right, and then this one is gonna be 0 0.094, so this is considered jumbo flake. See, and that's, it is getting, this is big, but nowhere near as big as the next ones. <laughs> like these next ones, it's so funny now seeing it all laid out, like how crazy big some of these are. Okay, the next two are the same size, but in different shapes. So this is colossal, but hex, and it's 0.125 just to give you guys a reference point. Ooh, it's getting hard to stay inside that little, ooh, ooh. Getting hard to stay inside that little square. There may be some mixing there, but you guys get the idea. This is the same size, that um, 0.125 Colossal, but it is a square. This is so pretty. That is throwing a lot of light because it's square. I don't know if the shape is changing it or something, but Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, and then this one, guys, which is bordering on the obscene, but for certain projects, yes, please, and thank you. And this is called a mammoth um, square, and it's 0.250. I'm gonna have to put this in my hand first. Otherwise, we can for, oh my goodness, can we just, <sighs> okay, I gotta stop. That is so beautiful. <laughs> it looks like little mirrors, oh my God. When I looked at it in the bottle, I thought, mm, I don't know what you would use that for, but trust me when I tell you, my mind is thinking of a few things right now. That is so beautiful. I told you guys I would bring you in nice and close, so here we are. Okay, so this is ultra fine. Do you see this stuff? I mean, it's like powder. It's beautiful, but it is so, so fine. All right, and then this one is the 0 0.015 fine glitter. Hey, what are you? He wants to hang out. I guess they're friends. Get back over there. Okay, so this is the fine glitter, 0 0.015. And you see, it's bigger than the ultra fine. Not a ton, but it's definitely bigger. All right, and then right next to that is chunky, and that is 0 0.40. And so you can see, fine compared to chunky, ultra fine. Fine, chunky. All right, next up, fat. No, we're not, we're not body shaming this glitter, okay? So 
between chunky and fat, there's definitely a difference. It's, yeah, it's not as big as I thought it was like in my head, but now that I'm looking at it, there's a difference, but it's not as much as I thought it was. All right, and then this is confetti. And this stuff is, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Like to use this in maybe like a keychain or something would be, whew. Okay. All right, now going down to the second level, I hope I'm not making you guys sick. Here is an eighth of an inch in diamonds. And it only looks multicolored because it's up under the bright lights of my studio here. Okay, 0 0.094 for jumbo. That is gonna be 0.125 for Colossal Hex and see how much bigger it is than Jumbo. It's bigger, not a ton bigger, but so Hex and Square, obviously the same size. And then we jump to this big daddy right here, 0.250 Mammoth Square. Like, okay, look at that. And then look at that. So let me back out for a second. I mean, you guys can really see now that they're just kind of laid out for you, which one is which. So I'm gonna leave this here for a second so you can get a good look at it. Again, they are all silver, right? Now I have lights in front of me, behind me, left and right of me. So that's affecting the way that this is throwing light, but that's an important point because look, do you see how different these colors look? That's because this has such a huge area, right, of reflection. So you're gonna get a completely different th like throw, cast, however you wanna call it, as far as color, than you are with something like this, which is gonna stay very true to like that silver color because there's just not much light. There's not a lot of area, so it can't throw light and pick up other colors. You're just gonna get that true silver color. So something to think about whatever you're using your um, glitter for. All right, so now I'm gonna show you just up close each one, just so you can get a good feel. All right. So this is the 0 .008 Ultra Fine, okay? You guys see that? I mean, that's like, right? It's almost like mica. I mean, it's so tiny and it is so beautiful, but it is very true to that color. This is the 0 0.015 fine glitter. Oh, it's so pretty. And you see the color difference already just, because, just by bumping up that tiny little bit because you have just more surface area. This is 0 0.040, this is chunky glitter. Look, it looks like it's multicolored. It's not, I promise. It's just Centauri silver, but it does, this particular color isn't like a solid silver. Like I have a solid, solid silver. I think it's called like starlight silver or something like that. And it is just pure silver. This one definitely has a little bit of other color in it. 0 0.062, this is the fat one. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I had to call you that glitter. We should get your name changed. It's so hard to distinguish at this point one from the other, but that's the fat size glitter. Just trying to give you guys a reference point, you know, cause it's so hard to know when you're looking online, what size is what. This stuff is beautiful. Like I see a keychain in my daughter's future. Look at that. Ugh, so pretty. Next is one eighth of an inch diamonds. So anything that's an eighth of an inch, I mean, you know, obviously this is cut into a diamond, but it could be a circle or a square. Look. Oh. Eight, nine, four. Where is the jumbo? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, big boy? Come back. Oh, here he is. He was hiding. He's camera shy. Okay. So this is a jumbo flake. And it is jumbo. Those are pretty big. Y'all see? Look. I have the Colossals, and these are the same size, different shapes. So this is the Colossal Hex. See? Colossal Square. 
and this is 0.125. This one and the last one are both, I'm trying to move it around in my hand so you can see the size of it, um, 0.125. These things are throwing massive light. Like they are giving me serious like New Year's Eve vibes. Gorgeous. Prettiest mess I've ever made. Okay, and then the last one, but certainly not the least of them, this dude. 0 0.250 Mammoth Square. Boy, this thing, ooh, lives up to its name. Look at the size of these things. I mean, they are huge, but look how pretty. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at that. They are gorgeous. Um, but they are huge, so again, I'm not sure what you would use this for, but like I said, I bet you good money I'm gonna figure it out because these are so, they're just, plus they're like unique looking because you rarely see anything quite that large. So stay tuned for a, uh, a glitter project with this in it. All right guys, so that is pretty much gonna be the end of it. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the different sizes of glitter and look at this giant mess that I have made here. But it's it's such a beautiful mess, right? Um, so that, that way you guys can decide what size glitter you need for your next project. All right, well I hope you guys found that helpful. What's your favorite size and would you try this, where did he go? What would you use this for? Leave me some suggestions down in the comments. All right guys, well I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.